welcome back to week 36 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. And, uh, here is me about to pick up total level 2650 to start off this week. Uh, yep, there's, uh, 96 agility during this Heffen hour. I uh, did some dungeoneering earlier and another hour of Heffen and some homework for class. Um, but yeah, I think that should have had an unlock. Um, maybe not. I know 97 I need it for my last Evachi in the bank, oh, but I guess that's actually it. Um, yeah, on to the next clip. And uh, over here in the wilderness, I'm uh, going to catch one of these moths. Hopefully I can do it barehanded. Um, manage to catch the moth, there we go. And um, yeah, that's the end of the Wilderness Elite Diary. I'm going to go uh, pick up those rewards now. Wow, that was a bit of a trek to get up here, but task system, can I claim any rewards? Yes, I can. Uh, so the Wilderness Sword 4, which is kind of useful, but uh, I think this 95,000 and 95,000 herb lore XP is a little bit better. And perhaps one of my toughest 99s is finally going to get taken care of. Right there. Oh, right there. There we go. 99 Herblor. Whew. That's one of the big ones taken care of now. Um, yeah, I think my Jack of Trades is going to start going into summoning and then onto farming once uh, it's all I have left. Time to go get that cape. And I'm talking to uh, Mr. Cake Mix. I believe you can sell me a skill cape of Herblor. Fair enough, and there it is, that beautiful thing. Oh man, that's one I feel like I should keepsake, but I uh, don't think I can afford it. Oh man, so good, I'm so glad. Also, I'm getting uh, fairly close to that 104 Dungeoneering. It's what I've spent most of the day doing uh, outside of the test I had to take earlier today. And uh, if you include the quest cave, I've now completed two rows. That looks pretty nice. Well, that DG grind is ever so slowly paying off. There's another level thanks to a delve into Damonheim. That's, uh, 104. Yep, only 82.8 million to go. And on to the next day. Had enough coal to come pick up a smithing level, so I thought I may as well come and do that. Uh... There's 98 smithing. Getting decently close to that 99, though I think uh, probably going to rely on a lot of dungeoneering to clear that up. Otherwise, m miscellanea will finish it off regardless. I have plenty of uh, other ores banked, just getting the coal over time is all I need. On later tonight, uh, and day 248, going to spend some of my tokens uh, exactly 414141. Interestingly enough, um, oh, it's 414141, four, one, four, one. enter, bam. And uh, that gets me the 400 million total XP mark. So, doing a half an hour and uh, been sitting around talking to my roommate for a while while I've been doing this uh, agility here. Decided to do something for fun and recheck my playtime on the account so far. And uh, it turns out that I've pretty much kept to my original commitment um, that on average I have played for 9.93 hours a day for the past 248 days. <laughs> wow. That's really fun statistic there. I think it there was like 102 days played or something like that. Um, yeah. Man. I don't know whether to be whether to be like proud of my commitment and managing to stay focused or like for such a long period of time or um whether to be like saddened by that and how how empty and how much of a shell of a man that I am. <laughs> and on to day 249, just picked up 97 attack, hoping to finish off 94 strength by the end of the hour. And on to the next day, yet again, uh, picked up 94 strength here at Byers. Um, really running out of time uh, to 
do my daily RS grinds, uh, but I am working on Dungeoneering just as hard as I can, and I'm going to pick up a level soon. Hey, there's 105 Dungeoneering later on today, uh, and I switched back to doing uh, just attack XP instead of attack and strength, um, to, to, just to get a 99 sooner, and because strength XP is going to come through Dungeoneering. And with this, bam! There's Invention 108. Uh, just decided to go kill some Kadarn Elves uh, to finish up that Sun Spear that I just disassembled. Uh, eventually I'm going to have to kill like a total of a thousand to get a title anyway, so it's not really a waste of time. Just did my first cache after the reset, and bam, there's 97 Divination. Yet another skill only a few levels away from maxing. Oh man, um, on to the next day, and I am so happy at what just happened. That Elder Seed... <laughs> mm. That has to be the hardest uh, of the remaining comp requirements I had outside of, like, Livid Farm, just because that has a long time requirement, but getting that is, is just fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't die because um, I do think there's a few items you have to use uh, that I already have in the bank to protect the seed. But anyway, I'm just I'm happy that I have that. Uh, it allows me to get the Elite Tearwind Diaries uh, complete. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, man, those virus really did pay off, because they gave me uh, quite a few Crystal Keys so far. Oh, and as you can see, I'm about to go uh, do my Tears of Guthics. And I completely forgot to make my construction level higher than my farming level for that. But, uh, hey, 75k f uh, construction, it, it's fine. Perfectly fine. I just died at Virewatch. I have no idea how that happened, especially with, like, with this gear. But, uh, okay. I mean, I had prayer up and everything. I was standing there watching my health actively go down. Um, I have a feeling it's because I changed my rotation and I put Sacrifice instead of Slice there, but that's, like, that's too little of a difference. Um, yeah, wow, that's weird. On one hand, I died. On the other, 93 farming. Only one more level uh, until I can get my Crystal Tree in Prif, as far as I know. And now I can plant Fly Traps. And on to the last day of this week. Just went and collected a lot of implings, and I'm gonna claim the uh, reward from Dafid. What would you prefer from catching implings? Um, you know, I'll take double loot. I don't care about the XP. It's not that great. And uh, hunter XP lamp, sure. Uh, but mostly this was a. Uh, comp requirement. I did it a little while ago, uh, just wasn't able to make a clip at that point. Um, but yeah, this was a uh, elite tier win task. Uh, so yeah, that's taken care of. And, um, you know, let's go ahead and loot a few of these. Two crystal keys, then, uh, well, rune claw, and nothing that great from these few. Uh, but let's open this crystal impling, wherever it went. There we go, this is the big boy. Wow. Two Torstal Seeds. Well, that's just disappointing. Well, I did a little bit of Dungeoneering, and now I'm going to go do some uh, smithing in the Artisan's Workshop. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to come claim a reward. I have 70 zeal here. Um, so, I'm going to buy just everything I can. Wait, what? XP or charm rewards. Yes, so XP... Um, oh, I guess you have to buy it ten at a time. Okay, well, um, just thought I should come spin this. It was a quest reward from a long time ago. But, uh, there it is. 98 attack. Going to, uh, pick up that 99 probably tomorrow, but, you know, today's the end of the week. Had to do a little bit of, uh, Morcella mushroom farming today, uh, but since I did, I am now able to plant this elder sapling and then pay this fella over here so that it definitely grows. Uh, that'll be something to take care of next week for the elite tier 1 tasks. 
and after having collected my ore, and uh, my coal, rather, from miscellanea, I ended up with one mithril left over and two coal. So, <laughs> too short of finishing off my mithril and time to start working on my, like, 4k addy. Uh, but aside from that, I did take care of another daily challenge, uh, rune ceremonial swords. I think that's the third one that I've actually done, um, which is quite a lot of coal poured into that one thing. Uh, but I'm gonna turn in that challenge and then call it a week. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Been trying to make some gains, so there's another 20k, and there's a bit of runite ore. Uh, but that's me for the week. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next week.